on the Toastmasters. What do you call people that are happy on Mondays? Offsets. Retire. My first thoughts about retirement came when I was sitting on a beautiful beach in the Caribbean looking at crystal clear blue water, having a drink with my wife. I knew that I did not want to be selling enterprise software until I reached Matt Sidlowski's age. The travel was hectic and the stress to succeed was impacting my health. However, I knew I was entering my best earning years and therefore succumbed to standing in the security line eating delicious airport food for the almighty buck. One day, I was having drinks with my manager and mentor in San Francisco. And he told me the week before that he had met with his financial advisor about his retirement plan. John, who's much older than I, he seemed frustrated, agitated, that he did not know what he wanted to do when he retired. He'd spoken to family and friends who retired and gained no clarity, and eventually hired a career coach. After a couple of sessions, he realized that he needed to connect with what he valued, and that was teaching and learning. Brilliant, right? That tip got me thinking about what was important as I was sitting on that beach in the Caribbean. I knew I enjoyed helping sales leaders improve their performance, and I wanted to improve my public speaking. I also knew freedom to do what I wanted, when I wanted, was paramount. I decided the best way for me to help people improve their performance was to upgrade my coaching skills. Just like Bob, just like John, his coach was helping him. All I needed was a pen and a phone, and I could conduct my coaching in my PJs from anywhere on my time schedule. That idea would resonate with me for many years. John and I were traveling again together, this time in New York. He asked if I wanted to see his retirement plan. I said, sure. He whips out his computer, opens up a spreadsheet, has a bunch of numbers on it, and a 4% withdrawal rate being applied to his taxable and non-taxable investments. John felt certain that he could earn at least 4% after he retired each year off his portfolio. And therefore, whatever he withdrew would be replenished. He also told me that he was going back to school, getting his PhD, becoming a professor, and teaching geology. A few weeks later, Bob, John introduced me to his financial advisor, who was sharp as a whip and had excellent BS skills. <laughs> Thing is, one BSer can't fool another BSer, <laughs> and therefore there seemed to be a match between us. Chris put together a financial plan for me that had the same 4% withdrawal rate for my portfolio that John had in his. Chris also taught me about the importance of diversification, trading all types of financial instruments, and creating a municipal bond ladder to lower my taxes. Chris also encouraged me to contribute the maximum amount to my 401k and invest in index funds because they had low fees. Many years had passed since I had that first thought about retirement. And as you know, upgrading my coaching skills was important, just like improving my public speaking. My exit strategy was in place. I knew what I wanted to be and do. All that was left was for me to write out my resignation letter. One day, I was meeting with my manager 
And I told her that I was retiring. I was resigning. She was caught completely off guard. She spit coffee onto her white blouse <laughs> and said, you're kidding. And then asked why. I told her that I found an opportunity that offered lots of freedom. There was no travel and there were no sales quotas. She said, please hire me. <laughs> <laughs> In closing, John encouraged me to find what I valued. And I did. I went on to get my certification as a professional coach. And today, I coach enterprise software sales leaders, helping them improve their performance. And I can do it from anywhere on my time schedule. I also joined Toastmasters to improve my public speaking and enhance my coaching practice. Here's the challenge. Ask yourself, what do I value? What do you call people that are happy on Mondays? Retired. Retired.